When I sat down to write The Way Home, I thought that I was writing a book about my unusual art practice because I work in a number of artistic media, you know, I'm a photographer, artist, and a writer. But when I started working on the material and uh, laying out the chapters, what I found was the interesting story was how I'd found my way home after 25 years away to become a traditional artist like generations of my family before me. My story, the story of finding a way home, is something that's unusual in the First Nations community. And it's very relevant because so many First Nations people find themselves alienated from their community and their traditions, their culture. It was always my idea that the images would be wedded to the text and they would reinforce it. It seems to me a much richer experience when you can uh, you know, see art and portraits and jewelry. The path that, that has been my life. Dramatically lit and surrounded by deep shadows, it communicated with me at a visceral level. I could feel my connection to that mask as though it had an energy of its own that made me need to know more. What it represented, where it came from, and who had carved it. Those questions came into my mind, and I felt I already knew the answers. I suspected that the mask had been carved by one of my ancestors, and I studied for a long time waiting for it to raise its mysteries to me.